All right, boys, come and see us for a pizza, please. We've all got a past. I come from a horrible, drug-infested life, and I didn't want to be that person. I get well by helping others. Just come and see us. All right. All right, hello, mate. How are you? All right. Let's see what's happening here, eh? See what's going on. You know the fellow with the fishing gear? What's his name? He comes the other day, somebody had seen him and he'd come down with the street. Catch out, mate. I'm going to come tomorrow. I'll come back tomorrow. If you see him, will you tell him I've been down? And I'm going to come back tomorrow. All right. So we're going to head back to Amazing Lee, yeah? Yeah, yeah. Thank you. We struggled as a normal family. Me, my partner, my eight-year-old daughter, we struggled. Uh, it got to the point where one day I was just like, we can't do this, we need, we need help. And I actually rang Mark up myself and said, Mark, I need a food parcel, is there any chance you can help me? He said, don't be silly, get yourself down here, your family down here, come and get what you need, what we've got, we can, can help you out with. After COVID, he asked me if I wanted to go on and help Amazing Grace some more, and I said yes. I've been there myself through lockdown, know exactly how it felt. So to give a little back, fantastic. So oh, some of these pizzas tonight, it's fresh pizza, so you can have pizza or pasta and a bag of food. Free food, right? No, 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 no. No, no. Right, okay. no it's free food, don't worry. Oh, right. Hiya. No, I was just wondering, that was all it's got We did start off as, as a soup kitchen primarily to help the homeless, but we've diversified somewhat with lockdown. We was helping everybody. We were serving individuals who wasn't homeless, people who were struggling at home with no food, in poverty. There was people coming here out of their minds in worry and stress and fear. Are you all right? What's up, flower? The B &T hey? Good to see you. In that bag there is your hot food. Oh, thank you. There's two. I got brought you an extra one. Oh. There's a bit of fruit. You yeah. have to be adaptable because if you're not adaptable, then you just have to suffer. You still get out and about, don't you? He yeah, do, does a lot of running, marathon running. Yes, I do. I've run three this week. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Yeah, you. So do we know we burnt the tent down? I know the police, um, did the police get involved? The police are involved, but we, we, ain't, we know who it is, but we can't prove it. No. So it's one of them, isn't But at least yeah. the, you're off the streets now. You shouldn't yeah. be on the streets anyway. I know I shouldn't. Well, yeah. just, exactly. She's yeah. disabled. Exactly. Yeah. Yeah, but it's lucky she's... You know what the council's council like? If you've no local connections, you won't do jack diddly squat. No. You've not so had much assistance, have you? No. no. But it's lucky that you're together, really, and that you can help each other. A lot of the homeless community get... We get a lot of the homeless community get abused by drunken tourists and people, yeah. lads who are on stag nights. If they see a tent or whatever, they'll attack it and... Mm. Oh, they, they, they had it burnt down. Yeah. I mean, well, we, we, we was actually in the tent, yeah. Well, well it was on fire. If we... If, if she hadn't walked up when she did, we'd have been dead, basically. Yeah. So let's get to the front of the cube. Watch the road. Yeah. Get in here out the wind. Yeah. What I'll do is just get you served and then you can yeah. uh, scoot off. I'll get Sue to sort yeah. it. All right, thanks. He said to me, he says, you're on the street? I went, yeah, been on for 19 years. It's where you're sleeping. I told him where I was sleeping. And he said, why so long? Well, I don't lie. It's wet time lying. I told him I've been in prison for arson. We just hit it off straight away. I'm not going to use the term I'd love to use. <laughs> but yeah, OK, yeah, we got on like a house on fire. I started virtually straight away, just sweeping up. I come down here, I help everyone. I have a laugh with the guests and everything like that because I still feel part of them as well. Mm. They're on the street. Yeah. Brother, so. two street packs, yeah? Yes. Are you all right for toiletries? Yeah, yeah, yeah we're fine for that, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. All right, I don't want you sat in the back queue in there. Yeah. Thank Bless you. you. Yeah. A lot of desperate people out there tonight, I'll be honest. A lot of need. You can feel it almost. Okay. We've seen a few more families as well, haven't we? Yeah. Yeah. I think that £20 universal credit has absolutely 
done, people. Yeah, well, and you're not thinking 20, 20 quid. Means, don't you? 20 quid doesn't sound it. like a lot, but that's 20 quid. It can be a week's shop. If you, if, if, Three or four days if, shop. If you're budgeting. Yeah. 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 So Someone that's... at the hat shift. I'll go. Took £80 pound off me this week, and that's a lot of money to me. You know, yeah, that, that's right? me shopping, that's my dog's food. It's everything to me. A lot of things I've had to cut down on now. Dog food, food for myself, bills. You know, there's no ending to them. It's a lot of money to get. Mine went from fucking £380 to £260 for a month. How wrong is that? How wrong is that? How are we doing on the dog food? Um, we're on the last sack. I should have found up today and I forgot. A pet shop in Lybham, at the end of the month, all the dog food that's going out of date, they write it off. And, and they then, give it us? And then we yeah. have it. So, so we've not been buying it We've not been buying no. anything. We've been we're... buying cat food. How much are you spending out of your own money? Be honest. Twenty-five pound a week. Wow. Twenty-five a week. And I bet she supplies us in twenty-five pound a week of cakes as well. <laughs> yeah. I believe in helping people, making sure people are okay, but they're not, and you can't help everybody. about suicide and going into the sea one yesterday. Yeah. Feelings of My concern at the moment is, is that we don't provide detox facilities as such. Um, obviously I need to... I need to Where have you managed it one for me at uh, Delphi? I don't want to send this man back to the streets at 48 years of age. I just think we're going to send him for a death sentence if we did. Yeah, no. I, I hear you, I hear you loud I just really want Darren to just understand how much of the shit we're in here. I'm going to have a chat with Darren. Now. Okay, yeah. all right. I'm going to give you a call back as well, whatever. Yeah. Okay, top man, thank you. Cheers, mate. Bye bye. Bye bye. There, there's at least 200 people in Gary's position. Unless I've got a credit card ready to pay 1,500 quid a week, then there's no chance of this happening. But we live in hope. It's uh, it's soul destroying, isn't it? Really, yeah. stuff that would affect you affect you 12, 18 months ago, or five years ago. It sort of doesn't touch the sides and you're sort of really hard to it in a sense. doesn't mean you don't care, it's just you're not breaking down and crying every night when you go home. Demand is so high, there's nobody getting appointments for anything and it's like, the waiting lists are just outrageous. I would say men mental health is the worst, yeah, the worst that you can see. Sorry, Ray, <laughs> she's so sensitive. Being affected. I mean, one of the things I've always found really shocking is come August, the number of 16 and 17 year olds who suddenly are homeless because the parents aren't getting benefit for them. So the parents throw them out. Sorry, that one's That's, on. That is common, that as well. And that, that is horrific. I mean, I'm a teacher. I teach high school. And I mean, thank God none of the kids I've ever taught have walked in. But you think of these are the kids who three months ago I was teaching these kids. You've got your own little uh, stash cupboard, haven't yeah, you, for, for breakfast? Children coming to school who've not eaten. They've not eaten since last night. You feel sometimes like you're putting your, your finger in the hole in the dam and that's all you're doing. But at some point, the pressure of the water is, is just going to break and then I don't know what we'll do because we've just... There's, you can see the problems mounting up. You can yeah. see the issues. Well, I think she's an idiot. What, what does levelling up actually mean? Does anybody know? We'd like to know how that is going to actually make a difference in our lives.
The council are stretched in every department and it's getting worse. And, and we are seeing more and more families, especially since the £20 reduction in the universal credit claims. So we've got people who come and not only do they need food, they've got no electricity to cook the food on. We know that this winter is going to be a tough time. Should I start putting bread into bags then? All the bread's in the bags in there. Oh, OK, thanks. I mean, there's hardly anything in the bags tonight. There's nothing we can do about it. I've actually put an appeal out for food and I've got no replies whatsoever. Maybe everybody's struggling. So today we've got fruit to put in the bags and that's it. Fruit and a loaf. I brought your meal round. Right. So there's some pasta ragu there, yeah. some bread, fresh bread and some fruit for you. What's happening over Christmas? Does everybody know what, what the plan is for Christmas, by the way? We're going to do it on the Tuesday night, yeah. so this isn't open. Everyone's available and there's more hands on deck and we're going to do a Christmas dinner. We'll still make sure we look after you. We'll send you a meal round, all right? Yeah. Fresh box. Fresh box, yeah. Rock and roll. Both having pizza? Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I have had a bad like couple of months, but I am getting stable now. I'm back on all my medication, so yeah, I'm fine. Just thanks to these guys again yeah, that helped us get a doctor's and stuff like that. Sort yeah. So. Yeah. Get your food loaded, and then it can. Is it loaded? Loaded, ready to go. Okay. Chef, could you make me just one, please? This man's allergic to mushrooms. If you wait, he'll make you one, and I'll give you one back. All right, don't worry about it. No drugs or alcohol. Focused on the future. Trying. Yeah. Trying. What is the future? The future is to make something of myself. Yeah. So, to be someone that everyone said I couldn't be. That's, my, that's the future. Yeah. To prove them all wrong. I go off that one as well. Come here a minute. I've heard you're getting clean on Subitex. I am. If you get clean and sober and get your act together, you can come and volunteer here with us. Yeah, man. All right? Can you imagine all the people if you're serving in here? You'll get everybody talking. Make it happen, yeah? Sometimes it frustrates me because I, you look at me and think, well, you've had so many chances and you've had this and you've had that and you're still not doing them. But then I've realised everyone's different mentally-wise. How many chances did you have? I had about six. <laughs> <laughs> There's no such thing as a hopeless case. Or well, otherwise I wouldn't be here today. Yeah, because I was pretty hopeless when I came to the end of my using and drinking. But here I am 18 years later, fit as a fiddle, right as ninepence.